The next one we discuss is adhesion, and that's going to be water sticking to something else. And again, I have a bunch of demos that go along with that. For this demo, I soak a cotton string in water, then I get a dropper, and I just drip water onto this cotton string. And I can do this in my classroom and have it go across the entire classroom, which is, you know, 20 feet or so. But just doing a simple one in front of a light also is uh, pretty neat. And again, we can see with this adhesion that water is really wanting to stick to that string and follow its way down. The next one I look at is capillary action. And capillary action, again, I do a couple neat demos for them to see, and we discuss their connection to, really in this one, I, I tie it into plants and the importance of capillary action in plants. So we'll look at a couple demos with that. Uh, some you'll be able to do at home, some you will not be able to do at home, but uh, they are visual in the sense that they show you how the capillary action works. And all it is, as I tell the kids, it's water trying to climb up out of something, out of a tube of some sort. And we look at the narrower the tube, the higher that water can climb. So we'll look at maybe a graduated cylinder that you'll see the meniscus of a, you know, be at a certain height. And then I'll take a thin capillary tube and I'll show you how you can make one. And then I will touch that to the water and you'll see it climb up there. And I actually give each student, if we were in class, um, a capillary tube so they can touch it to the um, water. If you ever get uh, blood taken, I think it's mainly maybe for little kids, uh, little babies. It's hard to get the, the blood from them. You don't want to take a lot of it. And I can remember uh, when they took blood from my kids that they used a capillary tube and they just touch it to the blood droplet and it just gets drawn up the glass tube um, just using that capillary action. So that is capillary action. To make a capillary tube, I heat some glass tubing, stretch it, and voila, you've got a capillary tube. I'll then break it and put it into, this is food coloring, so you can see it a little bit better with water, and that water is getting drawn up the capillary tube. The water molecules are attracted to the glass in that tube, and it pulls a little water along with it through cohesion, and you have that water drawing up a tube, and that is capillary action. And finally, we have a drop of red water here, and the paper towel, which is made out of plants, is really a collection of, you can think of it as a collection of tubes, and this liquid is drawn up these collections of tubes, and that's what uh, plants take advantage of to help them bring water up their stems to their leaves. It's not the only way that they bring that up there, but it is um, definitely something that is helpful to plants.